Hello everyone, Alan VC here and today we are going to create this video like transition in PowerPoint. So to get this done, I have prepared this small presentation containing only three slides. Here on the third slide, I have the elements we are going to use to build our custom transition. This includes a semi-transparent background that we will use to improve contrast, and a group of chevrons in different colors and sizes. By the way, you can find these shapes inside the home menu, just click here and look for the block arrow section where chevron is located. After you click on it, you will be able to add it to your slide and duplicate it to have as many of these shapes as you want. Also, you can drag and drop each one to modify the arrangement and click on them to change their fill and outline. That's exactly what I did to end up with this shape you can see over here. I basically modified the background and border of its chevron to match the color palette I previously defined. To make them look in the exact order I wanted, I sent some of them backwards and moved them around until I liked the result. Let me get rid of this to continue. Let's go back to the first slide of our presentation and we will modify the background of this slide. So let's right click and go to Format Background. Here we are gonna choose Picture or Texture Fill and on Picture Source let's click on Insert. Then on Stock Images. For this video tutorial I will use a mountains background. You can use whatever you want. So let me see, I think I like this one. So let me click on it and click on Insert. Time to wait for PowerPoint to set the selected image as our background. And there we go. Now let's do the exact same thing with our second slide. So let me see. This one is okay. Let's now work here on the first slide. I will add a dummy title. You will insert your logo or the presentation title here. Okay, now I will add a dummy logo and a white border. Awesome, let's check this out. Yep. Now we're just missing the semi-transparent background to increase contrast, so let's go to our third slide and copy this background. Back to the first slide and Ctrl V to paste. Now right click, send to back, excellent. Look how the text is now easier to read. You see? Now let me group this and make sure it is centered. Okay, let's work now on the second slide and let's add some dummy content as well. So let's add some text and a chart to make it look better. Great. Now we are just missing the semi-transparent background. And again, let's send this to back. Now we are ready to create our custom video light transition so we can move from the first slide to the second one nicely. So how do we do that? Let me go to the third slide and copy the chevron I'm going to use for this purpose. Now let's go to the second slide, zoom out, and paste it here. Let's make it bigger so it covers the slide from top to bottom. Let's give it a try. Hmm, I would prefer this border to be white, so let me change it. Yes, I think it is okay now. Now let's copy this and move it to the right side. Let's change the rotation so it points to the left. So basically we will add some animations and this chevron will move to the right, while this one will move to the left. So let's do it. Let's go to Animations, Add Animation, Motion Paths, Lines. Now let's change the direction to the left. 
Now click on the animation and while you hold the shift key, drag the red bubble to the desired position. We are going to do the same thing with this chevron. Uh, this time we will change the direction to the right. Click on the animation, hold shift, and let's move the red bubble over here. Okay, it's time to open the animation pane to change the start of the animations. The first one will start after previews, and the second one will start with previews. Let's now change the duration to 3 seconds and let's give it a try. Ok, the animation works well, but we still need to add one more chevron that will run on top of these ones. So let's copy this. Let's rotate the chevron a little bit. And let's make it bigger than this slide. Now we need to adjust these lines. I think it will be easier if we ungroup this thing. Done. To make it look a little different, I will change a couple colors here. So let me see. Yep, looks good. Let's select the whole thing and group. And we need to add an animation to this chevron as well so it moves down. Let's go to animations, add animation, lines. Here is the animation. Let's change the start to with previews, uh, the duration to 3 seconds. Click on the animation, hold shift, and move it like this. Ok, time to look at it. Awesome. The basic effect is finished, but the question now is, how do we make it to work as a transition between our two slides? Well, to accomplish that goal, let's go back to the first slide, open the presentation, and we're gonna take a screenshot with the snipping tool. This small piece of software is included in Windows. If you have a Mac, you certainly have a similar option already included, so you use that one. So we take the screenshot and paste it here. In simple terms, we have added a second layer to our slide that is a copy of the slide we're coming from. The next step is to move our chevrons to the front so they cover our screenshot during the slideshow. By the way, this one should move over the right and left chevrons, so let me move it to front. Okay, let's look at it. And the final thing we need to do is to hide this screenshot after the chevrons move over it. So to do that, let's go to animations, add animation, disappear, let's change the start to with previews and let's add a delay of 1.5 seconds. Now if we go back to the first slide and run the presentation, we will be able to move from the first slide to the second one with a beautiful video-like transition. So that's all for now guys, thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell icon to get a notification whenever I submit a new video, take care and see you next time.